Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So I am just going to give a brief review where we left so that I can start with the uh, preceding course. Uh, we left somewhere at morphological operations. We studied various kind of morphological operations, but we said that the basic of all the operations were only two basic operations, which were of erosion and dilation. Combining erosion and dilation in different ways can generate different kind of operations. I hope that you that you guys remember where we left. Uh, it is suggested that before moving on, please review the uh, lectures of morphological operations so that you won't have any difficulty in understanding what we are going to study in this lecture. So uh, using morphological operations or using simple erosion and dilation, we can do a lot of stuff. For example, we can locate defects in certain objects. For example, in some industrial setting, if we are analyzing a produced part using image recognition or image processing techniques, then we can readily identify certain defects in that produced part. For example, if you are using the original image like this, this original image has a certain object. For example, this one is the object and uh, it has certain hairs or certain protrusions extending from this object. There are certain fine hairs in this object. Then how to detect that? What is the direction of the hairs? Where are the hairs? And later on, why there are hairs? What is the problem with the object? The first thing is you, can, you have to detect these hairs. So one very easy operation which can uh, make these hairs visible to you is to simply uh, open this image, then um, okay. When uh, one very easy uh, operation that can uh, identify that where the hairs are is of okay. Okay, okay, you can easily do is you can easily identify these hairs using a very special operator called a top hat operator. This top hat operator is nothing but a combination of once again dilation and some erosion processes. So if you remember that what opening does, opening does has two steps in it. Firstly, it will erode this object, then it will dilate this object. So if you apply erosion on it, all the fine hairs are going to vanish. And when you apply dilation on it, the object will come back to its original shape. So after opening, what you are going to get, you are going to get this thing. So you are going to get the original object, for example, this one after opening. But we wanted to know the location of hairs, the size of hair, and the uh, direction of hairs, for example. So, where is that? So, you uh, by seeing these two images, you can easily see that if we subtract both of them, you will be left with only these portions, these hairs. So, this is what a top hat operator is. So, it is a very easy one. I have described this thing uh, in textual form over here. So you can go through it. So uh, this equation describes what we just did. So you were subtracting the original image, which was this one. This one was A, image A minus, and this one was A opened with B. 
So this will give you the location of all five layers. Okay. So a dual of this operation is what if we use the closed volume? So all those objects that will have gaps in them, you know that closing closes the gaps. It closes the gaps between different objects. It can close the holes present in different objects. So what if we use the closing volume? So yes, there is a dual of uh, this top hat operator. And in fact, these two top hat operators are called white and black top hat operators. So uh, this one, uh, this one was what we studied in the last slide and this one is the dual of it it is using the closing of the original object with some structuring element and then subtracting the original image from it so you will be left with all the gaps present the gaps which the closing removed from the image they will be present in r and you can readily know that where are the gaps and what is the size of the gap what is the quantity of the gap etc so uh, that's it for uh, top hat operators. Students are advised to go in the described link over here, a Wikipedia link. Uh, you, you guys should go over here and study a bit more about top hat operators and keep one thing in mind that I'm only discussing the application of these operations on binary images. Whereas these, Im these operations, they can be applied on grayscale images and also on color images so uh, go on the reference link and also on in the reference textbook and study a bit more about black and white top hat operators okay so uh, we can use morphological algorithm morphological operations for various kind of things for example we can remove noise we can simplify the shape so that we can figure out what is the shape of an object we can uh, do skeletonizing thinning thickening convex hull finding object marking and there are various things which we hopefully will do in the practical session of this uh, lecture okay uh, 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 this one this last one is a very special thing there are various functions already built into various uh, machine vision um, toolboxes that can give you the area perimeter Euler point care characteristics and different uh, features related to objects present in the image it is a very important thing to remember 